I would like to welcome everyone to our snake room, aka man cave. I don't know, you might want to call that a bougie man cave. Anyway, my husband saved these bottles for years and years, and when he came up with this idea, I thought it would look stupid, but I actually love it. All right, let's start over here. We got these racks from Dragon House. G-R-A-G-O-N-H-A-U-S. Um, I can do a review on those racks later because I have another one coming that needs to be built. Um, our collection includes Luna, who is a 2019 Mystic. We recently acquired her and she was purchased off of Morph, Morph Market. She is tiny considering her age. So uh, I'm hoping by next year we'll be able to breed her. Under her, we have Hagrid, who came along with Luna. We got these two snakes for $60. Crazy. So Hagrid is a 2019 Vanilla Super Mystic, and he's like my second favorite. He also was quite underweight. They've both been eating food really well, but isn't he just gorgeous? Try and get his head in. I can't quite focus on him, but anyway... He is so pretty. Moving along, we got Beatrice, a 2020 Calibi, um, another local pickup. Um, I think we paid $70 for her, but um, she too is gorgeous. She's just coming out of shed, and I'm hoping to be able to breed her next year as well. Below her, is Carlton, who is a 2019 banana. Um, we got him last week for $40, I believe. And again, he, for his age, he's so skinny. He's had a lot of meals. He's probably had five or six meals, so he looks a lot better than he did. But you can still see his spine protruding. And he is a good boy. Yes, great temperament. Great temperament. Um, rest of these are empty. One I use just to hold clean bedding when I'm switching out. Off to rack number two. Oh, and as you'll notice, my husband had to have the matching bar stools and the JD barrel um, 2015 Sturgis rally. And we've also got to have, you know, all the skulls because I guess that's just cool. Rack number two, we have Mercedes and Bugsy. These are siblings, and this story is interesting. This was a man and a son who made a COVID project. Um, he, They are out of a Mojave and a Lesser, and uh, he let the female naturally incubate these guys, which is amazing. So, um, And they have grown tremendously since we got them. They are great eaters. These two probably have the best temperaments on anything. One thing I will notice, a lot of times bells have buggy eyes. I'm oh, sorry, I'm not in focus here. But Miss Mercedes, gorgeous little eyes. And Bugsy, you'll see why we call him Bugsy, because he has the more common um, blue-eyed leucistic kind of buggy eye. My camera's not focusing very well, there he is. But again, great temperaments on these two. Below Bugsy, we have Ruby Rod. We got Ruby Rod in 2019 as a boy. His original name was Rod, but you really need to know your animals. And I noticed this fall that she was cool seeking and she's put on, I believe she's developing follicles She's barely at the breeding age, so I may pair her once or twice just to see if she goes. But, uh, yeah, that was a surprise. So Rod became Ruby Rod because I love the movie The Fifth Element. Uh, next one down is a 28, just a plain Mojave. He is Pedro, and he is a beautiful boy. Now here comes the good stuff. This is Denise, 2019 Ghost, who I believe is going to give me eggs this year. Look at her wonderful body condition. She recently went off food 
I have been pairing her up with um, with Dirk, who is coming up shortly. Hello, Denise. This is my favorite girl. We got her when she was maybe 100 grams. This is Uma. And uh, we call her Uma because there is a U on her back back there. But anyway, if you, you can see her gorgeous, my phone keeps going out of uh, focus, but her gorgeous size. She's still doing a little bit of cool seeking. She's still on food, so I think she's got a ways to go before she produces a clutch. And this pairing is with our boy, Doug, who is a 2019 pastel piebald. So if I can get a clutch out of these two, they will be 50% um, pastel pied and 50% piebald. But anyway, here's Doug. Hey, handsome. He's very low white, but he's, he's quite pretty. And last but not least, we have Dirk. Um, we named him Dirk Diggler because he likes the ladies. Anyway, he's a uh, 2018 Pastel Mojave or Pastave. And there he is. So very pretty, pretty. Um, in the snake room, I keep the ambient temperature at, on a thermostat at 80 degrees. And I keep the warm spots in the tubs uh, uh, around 90. I do use the temp gun and periodically check and sometimes need to adjust the dial. This is my feeding chart so I know who's had what to eat. Um, down here we've got the pairings I've done. There's some previous but we move those to our iPad spreadsheet once this fills up. So, um, I think, oh, and then this is our DIY incubator. Um, at Max, we're gonna have two clutches this year. So we took this old refrigerator and I have it set up um, as an incubator. We got vermiculite and the little egg holders there. I'm really hoping we get to use this incubator. And of course, my husband had to decorate it. Anyway, questions, comments, advice, I would appreciate it, but have a nice day, don't you know?